The historic signing officially marks an end to a year-long negotiations on implementation details that kick-started after the landmark announcement by both countries' prime ministers in May 2010. At a short ceremony in Putrajaya, Malaysia was represented by Minister in Prime Minister's Office Nur Muhammad Yaakob, while newly appointed Foreign Minister K. Shanmugam signed on behalf of Singapore. The mood was jovial between the ministers and they expressed optimism that the signing will usher in a new era in bilateral cooperation. It's a very happy day because uh, it's a new beginning uh, for us uh, in, in cooperation, in attracting investment and it's good, excellent for both countries. We're confident that this will be the new beginning for good cooperation, plenty of investments and, uh, and uh, certainly not only will um, Iskandar do well, but the whole of Malaysia should also do, do well because of the confidence factors in attracting foreign investment. So it really uh, takes the relationship to a different level. I think uh, it's win-win, as I said, for both parties, and it promises much more. Yeah. So in that sense, in every sense, it's a historic uh, moment. Already, Singapore's investments in the southern economic region of Iskandar has tripled to over 1.2 billion US dollars since May last year. Under the land swap arrangement in the written instrument signed today, Malaysia was given four parcels of land in Marina South and two more in Ophir Rocho in exchange for giving up Malayan railway land in Singapore. A 60-40 joint venture company between Kazana Nacional and Tamasic Holdings will be set up called MS Private Limited to undertake development of the land in Singapore. Another 50-50 joint venture company will be set up to develop two iconic wellness projects in Iskandar, Malaysia. But this is a very substantial commitment, the first 215 acres. And also, of course, don't forget the projects in Singapore, which are going to be in the billions of dollars range if you take everything together. Uh, so it's a very, very significant start. Under the agreement, both countries also undertake to improve connectivity by expanding the rapid transit system from Singapore to Johor Bahru by 2018. A joint technical group is targeting to call the tender for a consultancy study by the fourth quarter of 2011. Both countries are also working towards resolving their differences over development charges to the permanent court of arbitration. Now, separately, as a matter of goodwill, Singapore will be handing over waterworks under the 1961 Water Agreement free of charge and in good working order to Malaysia when the agreement expires on August 31st. A ceremony will be held to mark the event amid improving bilateral relations. Melissa Go, Channel News Asia, Putrajaya.